Gavin is with us to start off this hour in Kansas City. Hi, Gavin. How are you? I'm good, Dave. How are you guys doing? Better than I deserve. What's up? Well, uh, Dave, I'm a longtime listener. Uh, it's such an honor to speak with you. You know, I don't think there's a minute that's gone by your show in the last two years that I haven't heard. My goodness. Thank you. Yes, of course. Uh, give you a little backstory. I'm 19 years old. Uh, I used to be a, a young idiot and uh, graduated high school. I, I connected myself with your material, and you connected me with Anthony and Ken, and I've found myself going to college at a, a private university here in Kansas, um, cash flowing the whole thing through Ken Coleman's material. I got up off my lazy butt and went and got a, a, a job in sales. I make about $4,000 a month, and I'm having no problem cash flowing my degree. Um, quadruple major uh, in four years here, uh, business administration, finance, accounting, um, so forth. Uh, but I had a question for you, Dave. Um, you know, going through this endeavor here, uh, an, an entrepreneur such as yourself, I really wondered at the end of the day, what's most important that I need to be getting out of my education to be successful in the marketplace later in life, sir? Well, it's... Um not a class in medieval poetry. Underwater basket weaving, you mean? Yeah, or left-handed puppetry. That was my example. Yeah. That's, that's, that's Rachel's Thank example. You. That's Rachel's. That's a good one, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's, um, you know, so you're studying things that you're going to use if you're in business and you're an entrepreneur. I mean, sure. I, I was in college 40 years ago and almost, well, I was in college 40 years ago, and... and um, uh, you know, this, the accounting principles have not changed. The statistics principles, which have been interesting in the last week or so to actually know something about statistics when people you're watching don't. And um, it was, it's, you know, it's a very interesting uh, to understand that when I'm analyzing something here inside this business. In other words, I use some of the academic knowledge that you are training for that I got similar training of. Uh, there, there was no internet. There was no market. There was no digital marketing. But um, marketing is still marketing. And so I use some of the things I learned in, in college almost every day as the CEO of Ramsey Solutions. So I think you're getting very good training. And I'm big on knowledge. I'm big on academics as long as they have applicable uses in the marketplace. It's when people study some nuanced corner of nothing and then are mad because society owes them something because they can't get a job with a medieval poetry degree. And so, you know, uh, that that's what you don't want to do, and you've not done that. You've done a good job. I don't know, Rachel, yeah. you, you got a degree in communications. You use it all the time. Yeah, I do. I mean, I would say, Gavin, there's an element. This is not to slam for your education because we, we are pro college for sure. Um, but there is nothing like real life being in business, working with people. I mean, you can you can learn things in a classroom, but when you apply it to real life in the real world, it takes a totally different meaning. And so what I would say to you is the fact that you're working right now, I think is huge. Like real world, world experience is amazing. That's why I always tell college students, like go get an internship. Like if you think you want to work at an ad agency, that may sound great sitting in a, you know, in a, in a class that has mm -hmm. 200 people and you're listening to professor, but actually go work there, like see what the work is like. So the fact yeah. you're getting real life experience, Gavin, I think is amazing. Yeah, amazing. I, I sold real estate all the way through college, just like you're selling right now all the way through yeah. college. So and I think I, it's, I, so I've still got stories from those days I was gonna say, so the that things I still apply. The things yeah. you're learning in the workplace, I think is extremely valuable. And to not be under the assumption, which you're not Gavin, I'm not accusing you of this, that a degree, even a quadruple major isn't going to make you successful in and of itself. That sheet of paper no, it doesn't. isn't going the to. The knowledge gives you a tool in your belt yep. to be a craftsman in the marketplace. To go out and actually use what you've learned, which you are doing right now as you're working. So it's yeah. amazing. So I just, it, there's kind of all sides to it, right? Like getting a four-year degree and actually learning something beyond a high school level is extremely important. And that degree will get you indoors. I mean, it, it's, there are certain jobs and industries that require a four-year college degree and it's amazing so like that it's going to help you but don't be under the assumption that life is going to work exactly how the professor in the class says it's going to work and that just because you get that degree means you're going to be successful what you're doing as hard as you're working right now to pay cash for this and you're loaded yourself up academically you got a lot of a lot of 
stuff going on with the quadruple major here. What you're doing is very strenuous. Uh, I, I was stressed out when I was doing what you're doing. It's hard. Uh, but it's not forever. Uh, in a couple of years, you'll be done. And you'll come out with a degree, without the debt, with the knowledge, without the debt. And you'll have this tremendous work ethic and the ability to organize and manage your time and the other stuff, that the other benefits that are going to come from the stress and strain that you have put yourself under with a series of choices. Uh, but it, it, what you're doing is really hard. Uh, but it's worth it. So do it. He's making like 50K a year. I know. It's At 19, it's crazy. Like, it's, it's amazing. Roll up your sleeves and amazing. stick with it. Finish. Play through. It's worth it. What Everything you're doing is worth it. Uh, you're not going to come out of this with that with regrets and, uh, oh, I wish I had worked less. You know, uh, you, you, you got plenty of time to do all kinds of things in your life. You're going to be just fine.